Good morning, ladies. Welcome back to the Mind, Body, Soul of Homemaking. I hope you ladies are doing well. I wanted to bring you along today. There's a few things on the agenda. Before we start the housework, I do want to go and head to town to do a few errands, and I want to go to my favorite local marketplace. I know the house needs a little bit of a pick-me-up. Hopefully you ladies find some homemaking motivation today and get inspired as homemakers. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. I want to show you ladies real quick. I rearranged my room as usual. I did keep my desk there, um, but I feel like it's much more open and I'm able to have the window open as well. And I just, I really like it. It's always so nice. Change up your space and your area and Okay, we gotta go. I wanted to share my shoes real quick. I have three pairs of these, and what I do is once they start to get a little dingy, I'll get to the second pair and the third pair because I like them so much, and then at the end of the week, I will put them in the tub in the laundry room and wash them. But I think they're just a really nice, cute pair of shoes that really go with any outfit. You can wear them with a dress. I know being busy and running errands to stop and eat somewhere like Burger King. <laughs> so I am going to make a quick protein smoothie. It's just super simple. There's like four ingredients and it tastes like a chocolate milkshake. I'm not tempted to stop and eat somewhere because I used to do that all the time. Not prepare for myself. I would get home two, three o'clock and be hangry and already be on my second cup of coffee. Threw my hormones all out of whack. Even if you're not hungry, just try to have something with you on the go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and make that and then we are going to head out. So I just had a thought, I'm gonna pour the rest of my coffee into this and then it'll be like a chocolate mocha milkshake. Okay, you ready? Let's go. You're like your mom, you've been saying that for the last 20 minutes. Okay, so something I like to do before I head out is to put on a good podcast. I know it can be very tempting to continue to look at your phone and as a mother, when you lay down at night and you think of all the things that you did that you shouldn't have done, one of them is picking up your phone while you're driving and it gives me so much anxiety and I'm sick of it and put it somewhere where I can't reach it. And if you have to do something like that, then do something like that. And it's just not something we want to play around with. We want to be very cautious, have, you know, a high respect for life and be safety conscious. This is just a reminder for you to do the same. 18, 18. In the air, he would stare at her in class and she would try to act cool. But it was obvious like, ooh, they would be together, ooh. One day she said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Good morning ladies, so it is the next day And me and Joe are gonna go to a date day <laughs> We're gonna do like a date night But it actually is the 24th, Christmas Eve So things are gonna close early So we're just gonna do a little bit of shopping Have some lunch I definitely want to be present and be in the moment. Oh, our good friend Missy, uh, who happens to live next door, is going to watch Josiah. It'll be nice just to have a little bit of us time. And my goal is to find clothes that are good quality, that really speak to my style. Hope you ladies enjoy. I brought my Waterloo. I got, this is the cherry lemonade flavor. This stuff is amazing. I get it at my marketplace. I don't want to stop at like a gas station, get like a sugary drink. Possibly might get a coffee uh, as a little treat. So yeah. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby I was never the one to give up 
the ghost No, I was so stuck I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up Cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you You take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you Making me wanna try forever I feel so free Oh my sweet baby been a long day. It is five o'clock and I just put the brownies in the oven. There's still lots of laundry to do, but I think I'm just gonna leave that till tomorrow because I'm exhausted. It was really nice actually buy new clothes like with a tag on them. As you ladies know, I love to thrift. I guess make that investment in buying good quality clothes and I feel like those sweaters that I got will last so long and every time I put them on I'm going to feel confident I'm going to feel like okay this is me and with things that you know maybe buy on an impulse thrifting I soon later regret buying it and then maybe it's too small or too big that was a big problem but I'm like no it's so cute I still want it and I find myself never wearing it because it doesn't look good with the jeans or it makes me look too big or it's too tight I've really come to appreciate <laughs> investing in good quality shirts and pants and not having a ton of thrifted clothes that you barely ever wear, but you have good, solid, quality, staple pieces. So I'm I'm really going to change, I guess for 2023 is my goal, and really coming to find my style. Maybe that means having a very minimal wardrobe. I come to find that less is more when it comes to clothes as well. I'm always throwing <laughs> when I can't find a shirt. I'll throw everything out of my wardrobe and I'll just like, sift through everything and I'm like none of this stuff works and of course I know as women we all do that but I don't want to feel like that I want to be able to open my wardrobe and be like yes I know for a fact I feel good and confident in this and it, there's no guessing game you know what I mean and I know that can be hard if you fluctuate with weight <clears throat> like I do but again it's just I think those sweaters were like 20 bucks a piece and I would never pay that much for a shirt in the past like if I can get a shirt for three dollars at the thrift store I'm like yes so I'm gonna continue to really go through all my clothes before the new year and hopefully if this is something that you ladies struggle with as well um, hopefully I can give you tips and tricks along the way but again if you have two or three good go-to shirts toss the rest and start building wardrobe from there I guess that's how I have to be I have to just like get rid of all of it I want a clean fresh slate that way it kind of actually forces me to really think about every piece of clothing that comes into my wardrobe in 2023. And that may mean less thrifting. And but and really, thrifting lately, I think, has caused me a lot of anxiety. I don't know if it's just because I'm constantly feeling like I have to rush and there's you never know what you're going to find, which of course that always, you know, was exciting. But now it's just like, I like going into a store like Marshall, knowing where the sweaters, knowing where the shirts are, knowing where the sizes are, and just picking out a clean new shirt. But I just wanted to thank you ladies for being here and supporting my channel. And it's hard because because I am a small channel and I often get discouraged, I'm not gonna lie, um, when it comes to growing my channel and seeing what works, seeing what doesn't, seeing why it's not growing. Of course, I know that message, my content isn't per se popular or successful to the world standard, being a homemaker and a stay-at-home wife and mom and just being a Christian. I know that it can be a lot of pushback because the world right now is good is bad and what's bad is good. So 
just something that I'm I'm always back and forth with but at the end of the day I know that it brings you ladies a lot of inspiration it helps me a lot too and if that's all it is then that's well that's really not all it is that is what it's all about <laughs> so thank you ladies for watching and I will see you in my next video bye, bye.